Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to West of Loathing. Now, you may be thinking that everything is hunky-dory and exactly the same as it was, and you'd be partially correct, except that I'm a snake oiler now! Hell yeah, I got the shooty snakes and I got a snake whip, and I've got deploy snake, and I've got the greatest ability ever called shoot nanny! It's all pretty good, but I'm in the exact same place that I was before, in addition to a few new places that I want to go to, before I actually continue. Number one, I have to go see, uh, the crazy old professor, the professor's house, because I gotta turn in my, uh, El Venetio, El- El Vambo, El Venubo, El Vamba- Something like that. El Venibo? El Vini- El Venibo. El Ven- El Vano? Great! Let me just- Hmm. Yep. Okay. This will do the trick. Let me just get this running, and then you'll be able to grab a keystone from it. It'll take another five scrap for each one you need. Are you familiar with the Lost Dutch Oven Mine? Grim place, but that's where I found the chassis for the fabricator, wedged behind an unusual pile of rocks. Seems like a good place to start hunting. Alright, I'm on it! Hiya! I got a keystone. So, this is- this is actually referring to another location that I actually discovered, and uh, I didn't want to go to it yet because it sounded hilarious. It's the Lost Dutch Oven Mine, and if it's- if it's a place of only fart jokes, then you know, you know that I'm interested in it. But, as a- as a snake oiler, number one, I got my snake whip. Whoa, pow And, uh, Gary's just as tough as Gary's always been. Gary's much better as he was now. But also, I'm real good with the shooting. And don't worry, I went through every single spittoon that I doth did see before, so don't worry about any of that. Oh no! Such a smell that Gary is smelling. It's really something, yeah. Oof. Scary to waiting out here and breathing through mouth. Good call, buddy. But me, I'll brave the danger. <laughs> Whoa, those are some stinky fissures. I can't get any closer. Not without some stench resistance, at least. Now see, I... I've waded through so many spittoons, I've flushed so many toilets, that I gotta have some sweet-smelling flowers to be able to conquer this horrible mine. The stench here is barely tolerable. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, so funny. Doodly do, a doodly do. Ah, loot him. Got miner's pants and a gas mask. Well, I guess that'd probably help. Gas mask, huh? Well, I've already got stench resistance, so I guess I'm okay. All right, miners must have eaten down here. Got clove drops and cat's eye candy. That's good. <gasps> it's another spittoon. Oh yes. I don't know what kind of tobacco these miners are chewing, but it must be extra corrosive because the brass spittoon is e a hole eaten through the bottom and dark stains underneath it where the spit leaked out. Although oddly, it doesn't seem to be leaking now, and it's half full. I guess the miners plugged the hole with something. Inspect it. It's a spittoon. It's disgusting. You can practically see the stink lines coming on <laughs> off of it. Come on, let's not do this. Inspect the spittoon. Ah, geez, fine, okay. You crouch down and take a careful look at the filthy spittoon. The inside is blackened with years worth of stains. The dead broth- the death broth inside is a rainbow sheen, like a parking lot oil <laughs> spill, and occasionally a little bubble pops on the surface. You can actually feel a slight warmth radiating off of it from whatever dire chemical reaction is taking place in there. You realize you're holding your breath, not deliberately, but from the human body's natural <laughs> instinct. <laughs> For self-preservation, my option is inhale. <laughs> Imagine someone made a big pot of chili con carne and left it under the porch. Three rats crawl into the pot, eat half the chili, and then die. A week later, a family of cockroaches takes up residence among the writhing maggots. The cockroaches smoke thick black cigars, which they light with tufts of burning human hair. That's what it smells like. <laughs> Search it, bad boy! Fortunately for you, the rainbow-colored film on the surface of the liquid coats your hand as you plunge into the toxic stew, keeping it from being immediately dissolved down to the bones. The smell intensifies and your stomach prepares to hose the poisons off, off of your arm with a high-pressure stream of vomit. Keep searching. Uh, your fingers touch something at the bottom of the spittoon. Better pull it out fast while you still have something to pull with. Pull. You pull the world's most disgusting pair of pants out of the spittoon and jump back as the hole at the spittoon's bottom, now unplugged, begins to leak steaming filth. Congratulations! 
<laughs> you are now the proud owner of the worst object I've ever been paid to think about. Narrowly defeating a leather bondage harness made from the skin of a clown. <laughs> oh, I gotta find the leather bondage harness. I have to find that now. That's so hilarious. Hooray, I guess. Oh, jeez, that is so funny. Oh my god, that's the best. Oil it? I have a can of oil? Wait, I have a can of oil? Huh? Huh? Oh, jeez. Oh, that's a little better. I didn't know it. Oh, I have a can. I can use that on the gate to not kill those people. I can do that because now I actually have that, but I'm going to use that. Hang on. I didn't kill him this time around. You lubricate the elevator liberally. Oh. Oh, yeah, I do. Get that clown bondage harness and have a good old time. All right, what do you got? Nope, skadoodly in there. What do we got down at the bottom of this place? You emerge from the elevator into a deeper shaft. By the light of your lantern, you see exposed meat veins on nearly every surface. Huh. My dream. It's unusual that there would be this much readily available meat left when working mine. What were they digging for, if not this? Curious. All right, okay. Meet it up. Meet it up. Meet it. Hi. <laughs> Hi there, buddy. How you doing? <laughs> you having a good time there? All right. Just feeling the music. This guy's totally out of it. He's gibbering and drooling. It doesn't seem to even see you. Leave him to his gibbering. I'll try talking to him. Hey, buddy, you okay? Bob, Rob, Bibble, Birdo, Gordo, Glub. Uh-huh. You wave your hand in front of his face, but he doesn't react at all. Hmm. All right. It's an exposed meat vein. G good. Hello. Shovels dulled to uselessness. A broken pickaxe. Was one of the miners digging with his helmet? Jeez, what were they digging so rapidly for? Well, it looks like the miner died trying to dig deeper with their hands. Ominous ladder leading down into a deep, dark pit. All right, okay. Ooh, well, this looks bad. Finger bones are all splintered. The hairs on the back of your neck stands up. This guy seems to have gnawed off his own hands before dying. Your heart is pounding. Gem is pretty, but it smells terrible. I got an effluvious emerald. Wait, I got to check out my, my pants. I have these moxie pants. I'm going to put them on. <laughs> I've also got these overly tan boots that are just to die for. Oh, that's good stuff. I don't know what good speed does. Oh, there it is. <laughs> uh, if both sides have equal speeds, ah, uh, whatever. Uh, sure, whatever. All right. This guy worked his fingers to the bone digging and then worked his bones to the marrow. You have to get out of this pit right now. Not yet, I don't. These scratches are just painted on. In blood! You have to get out of this pit right now. The gouge marks are dark with blood. You have to get out of this pit right now. No, I don't. As you get near the rocks, the voices in your head begin screaming too loudly to ignore. You have to get it out of this pit. Right now. Fine, fine, whatever. Oh, fine, whatever. Rolling away I go like a coward. Well, why am I getting out of this pit? Huh. So what's going on? Hey, we, dude, what's the dealio? Why do I gotta get out of this pit right now? What's going on here? Wait, there's something going on here, and I ain't... I ain't too sure about it. The Dutch oven mine will spill its secrets for me. Uh, whatever. All right, wait, let me check out the effluvious diamond. If this gem is half as valuable as it is pungent, you're in the money. You should probably wash your hands before you spend it. All right, okay, fine then. So is there some reason? So why did... Why did the professor send me down here? That's the weird thing, right? Why did the professor send me down here? Let me go back to the professor's house just to see what's going on over there because... Oh, trading! Yes, please, wandering Sally. Got any good stuff for me? Eh, some needles. I've got three shovels. I only need one, so there we go. Oh, the other thing about being a snake oil. I've got a briefcase full of snakes. If you look inside, I can squeeze some venom or some medicine. Now, I don't know... I don't know how to upgrade my, my, my snake briefcase. You know, Snake Falls or Snake Springs is like an unlimited supply of snake. So you just go there and you fill up your briefcase as much as you want. But yeah, it's whatever. Uh, who's fighting? Who am I fighting? Snakes? God damn it. Time to shoot Nanny up. Bing, bang, 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 boom, bang, bang. 
Ah, oh, didn't get all of them, whatever. It just shoots randomly in random locations. Randomly in random locations, you know how random things are. I'm so random. Coffee cactus. Oh, also, I've got safe cracking finally, which is nice. You know anything about ley lines? Whoa. Ah, ley line diagram, you say. Okay, check out the necromancer journal. All right. <clears throat> well, that didn't do anything for me. Well, well, then why did you send me? Why'd you send me to that goddamn mine? All right, I'll come back to that. I got other stuff to do, too. But first, I'm gonna go to Old Grandad, because that's where the quest, the main quest, is sending me. And then I got all these other places that I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to Madness Maw Mine soon. I, I like the sound of it. Even though it's probably terrible and horrifying. All right, hey, dude, how's it going? Hey, what's up, man? You wanna, you wanna, you wanna get a bar of soap? Thanks, man. Let me up there. All right, hey, dude. How's it going? All right, I'll be right back. Hey. Oh, what? To heck with the tap. What? I don't have enough moxie? Oh, I'm three off. Well, is there something I could eat that would give me some moxie? I know there would be. I've already put something on my hat, so I can't do that. There's gotta be something here that'll give me some moxie. Muscle, black and beans. Mm, that's by one. Ooh, that's good. Potted meat sounds good. It's all by five. I'll eat that. Fry up in the can, eat the meat, tastes way better than you expected to. Meat it out. Oh, hey, that's pretty good. I'll be darned. I'll be ding damn darned. All right. Ooh, that's some good moxie. Oh, yeah, this looks like this stuff. All right, I'm gonna drink this. Bloink, decent wine, pretty classy, nice and stuff. Potion. All right, muscle by 11, but you shouldn't drink it. Oh, you probably shouldn't drink cow's blood. I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip on that one. Skip on that old bad boy. Sasparil Saspaparillalia. Sarparilala. Oh, okay. Alright then. I'ma drink me some you you were never sure how to spell this and you still aren't. I'ma drink me some uh Sarparilia. You drink the sa substance. Saspa whatever. Uh that's funny. Funny stuff. Funny stuff. All right, I got enough. Moxie. Find a tap. All right, spirit tap. Syrup tap. Whatever. Tap it. Tap that. All right. It's all tapped out. Okay, I'm out of goo. You want some goo? Here you go. There you go. Needing more proper- Needing more? All right, well, there you go. Whatever. It's fine. Jesus, you greedy bastard. All right. Hi, hello. Hi, can I- Nope. Okay, can I- Yep, bring in me goblin elixir! What's that? A potion of extra delicious is being so good. Okay, I'll go get that then. Fine, jeez, whatever. Hello, what's this? This table is covered with flasks, beakers, bottles, and tubes, and burners, and all the other equipment that makes up a super elaborate alchemy table, including a whole bunch of different colored liquids and powders and such. Make a goblin elixir. Well, that's easy for you to say. <laughs> look for some instructions. I'll just try mixing things up. Pick up a beater and look at the ingredient. Ah, green powder is probably good. How about some clear juice? That sounds good. It turns brown. Pink syrup? Turns indigo and starts to fizz even harder. Spit in it. Mixture turns mauve and starts to fizz like crazy. You manage to pick the pitch of the concoction out the window and duck under the cable just in time. It explodes with a tooth rattling bang. <laughs> all right, fine. You find a scrap of paper in a drawer that looks like structures for an elixir, but it's all in goblin science jargon and you don't understand it. All right, whatever. Let's go red lumps. Uh, mauve slime? Green ooze. Shake it. Turns violet and starts bubbling like crazy. After a second, though, it settles down. All right, I'll keep it. Sure, I got, I've got something. Hey, you want something? I got some. Here's your elixir, probably. <laughs> Goblin moves away from the ladder and takes little sips from the flask, savoring the flavor. Is it good? Yeah, perfect. Okay, all right, whatever. Whoa, that's that's not natural. All right, okay. Holy crap, if it isn't the most disturbing thing you've ever seen, I don't know what- didn't want to know what it is. Presumably a couple of goblins popping id in here, and the spores got all mixed together. They seem reasonably chill about it, though. Yeah, hey, guys, there's jelly beans. Can I to having them? Oh, what, our fruit rocks? No, no, not taking our fruit rocks. These being ours, not for you taking. Jeez Louise. Well, what do you plan to do with dealing with them, horror? Uh, talk to them. But not like looking like you're eating them. A jar is still full. What, eating? Fruit rocks not for eating, fruit rocks just for looking at. Just for looking at them? 
Not fitting through floor hole. Can't leaving room. Fruit rocks only entertainment being. Good grief, that's sad. Okay, how about I teach you something else entertaining? Something better than fruit rocks looking at. Okay, sounded good. I agreeing. I not for certain, but what being better than fruit rocks? Oh, by the way, instead of intimidating, I got horn swoggling. So when I want to convince someone of something to do something or other for that I want them to do, I gotta give them the old horn swoggling. You know what I mean? Poker! You pull out a spare deck of cards and pick a couple handfuls of cactus spines off the floor to use in poker chips. And give the goblins a quick poker playing tutorial. Once they have themselves rearranged so they can can't see each other's cards, they take it to it pretty quickly. Alright, then can I have it? Nice. Alright. Cool. Alright, see you guys. That was totally worth my time. And, and by my time, I mean completely replaying the game to become Moxie Specialist. Oh, look, Granddad. Okay, we already got that, so we gotta go back to Jelly Bean Man. Roy Bean! Oh, also, I gotta go to the Farce of Darkness. What? I'm gonna reschedule it with my horn swoggling. Hey, Duel, eh? How about we meet about high noon, about half hour? I'll meet you back here tomorrow. Okay, see ya, buddy. <laughs> Say hey, buddy pal, how you, you doing? Hello. You want another one? Okay. Got him. Wonderful. Alright. Looks like they're all here too. Goblins didn't need any? It's a long and weird story. Well, never mind, man. You've done a swell job, kid. I've only got one more jar of jelly beans missing. It was stole by a gang of damn hippies. Why'd they take them? Heck, if I know what hippies thinking, all I know is that they took off heading south and a little bit west. Go to Shroom Cave? I do want to go to Shroom Cave. I really want to go to Shroom Cave. Oh, nice. I've got a shroom picking thing. Is that going to be any good around here? Wow. Okay. There's a lot of shrooms in here. <laughs> hey, what's that one? That one's a spicy shroom. Can I get any of these? What did I buy those shroom pluckers for anyway? There's so many goddamn shrooms in here. Hello? Ah. Mushroom map. I don't know what that is, but I got shroom grow for Gary. So that's nice. Give to Gary. Ah, deliciousness. Good. It's a mushroom map. Labeled shroom locations and shows a weird convoluted trail leading to a big X. You recognize the X as this very cave. The source of the trail looks like it's right near that weird fort full of dirty weirdos. Okay. All right, then. Oh. Uh, hello? This cultist is totally zonked out. Cultus is muttering and twitching in his sleep. Mushroom crumbs litter the floor around him. Loot his belongings. Yeah, <laughs> grab everything that is nailed to him. Skeleton bone, human ashes, burn scroll. Alright, well, not that. This is what I want. Burn scroll, examine it. Scroll's in bad shape and you can't really make out anything new, but you're convinced this must be another clue as to the whereabouts of the necromancer. Stick the scroll in your journal. Alrighty then. Cool. Lay lines. Cryptic note about hell cower energy. Oh, I gotta find that. Uh, again, that's the one thing that I didn't refine, but I'm pretty sure these guys are all from the Fort of Darkness. If I'm not mistaken, the hippies are from the Fort of Darkness. Look at these damn hippies with their damn hippie single. Ah, hi. Can you talk to me, Gary? Ah, soldier hearing, except... Yeah, the sitar music isn't very mir militaristic, is it? Come on, let's have a look. Let's go in here. Why do they have... <laughs> all these cannons have flowers stuck in the barrels. Hey, what's going on here? Oh, hi. Well then, <laughs> sorry I interrupted. Hi, I'm Mumfler. Teeth, teeth, <laughs> clavicle femur, teeth. Wow, okay, all right. Seen any jelly beans? Teeth, jawbone, teeth, I see. Would you like some bones? You hand her an armload of bones and she starts mechanically picking through them, selecting some and discarding others based on criteria you can't discern. Eventually, having chosen the best two from the pile, she secures them together with a wire and screws and hands you something that basically looks like a sword. Great! Deals spooky damage. How about some skull chips? Oh, great! She stops muttering. Her eyes seem to focus a little. She takes some glue out of her toolbox and presses the chips into a ring. Have more random encounters with skeletons. Great! That's what I wanted. I don't have any gold teeth, so I'm just gonna leave you to that. Hi, I'm Mumfler. Salutations, Mumfler. They call me the talking dude because of my extensive knowledge of the principles of philosophy and the arguments and conundrums surrounding its various aspects and interpretations. I bet that's not why they call you that. Can I interest you in a discussion of the particulars of curtsy and philosophy, Munzler? No! 
Have you seen any jelly beans? Well, first we must take care to define our terms. What does it mean to see jelly beans? What if it was I see as jelly beans are different than what you see? Cut the grab before I cut it for you. <laughs> no, I have not. But I do know that Irene, the newest and dare I say most delightful of our little clan, is particularly fond of them. You might ask her, can I interest you in a discussion? Sure. But if you bore me, the talking <laughs> begins and you immediately tune out. Blah, 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 blah. But from an epistemological standpoint, blah, blah, blah. Fascinating. Determinism. Narrow your eyes. Your posture alone is enough to keep them talking. A tautology. Interesting. Ah, oh, good. Aha. Whoa. Fascinating. Oh, my. Yes. Oh. What the hell? Huh, it actually seems like some of this is rubbing off on you. Well, shit! I got some mysticality! Interesting! Ooh, yes! My, my, sir. Okay, goodbye. All right, fine. Well, that was weird. <laughs> what the hell is happening here? I thought this was gonna be a cultist camp, but apparently not. Oh, man, I wish I had loco weed. That'd be great. I don't have any binoculars for that. Hello! Hi, are these for sale? Pretty cool boots you made. Uh, oh, uh, no, no. I mean, I'd like to sell them to you, but they aren't mine. You didn't make them? It's funny how everyone assumes that, but no, these were all made by elves. God, their eyes are really, really disturbing. Yeah, man, like little elf guys. They're hard to see. Do like kind of stand on the corner of your eye, you know? But I was just kind of standing here and just kind of... And then I'm like, oh, hey, got another pair of boots in my hands. Guess the elves made them more boots. Huh? I haven't made a pair of boots myself in, I don't know, like years? Years? Something. These elves keep making them, though. I don't know why. Weird. Anyway, seen any jelly beans? Jelly beans? Weird. No, I haven't seen anything like that. Mass some elves, maybe. All right, you should open up a boot store. A store to sell your boots in. They're not mine, though. They're... Right, right, the elves. But the elves can't be making them just for fun, right? I'm, I think they're making them so you can sell them. Ah, oh, yeah, that makes sense. It's a town called Dirtwater. You could open up a really nice shop there. All right. Cool. Hi, new phase. My name's, um, one sec. Irene. Great. Everyone here just calls me Mushroom, so I forget sometimes. Howdy, Irene. I'm Muffler. What's your story? Oh, not much to tell. I was hitchhiking to Frisco a few months back, but I stopped here and never got around to continuing. You know, we're like a big happy family here, and everyone's so nice and appreciative. I know how I know how so much about mushrooms. Mushrooms? Uh huh. They're good for all kinds of things if you know which ones to pick. If you want, I can sell you some of my favorites. Okay. See any jelly beans? I, uh, yeah, I had some jelly beans recently. Don't remember. Huh. Oh, they were in my lounge. Where's your lounge? I don't remember. It's only the, they're part of the time anyway. <laughs> I don't know. All right, I'll buy a mushroom. What the hell is that? Opens your third eye halfway, increasing your mysticality by 23 for the rest of the day. God damn, I wish I was a bean slinger now. No, I'm not going to replay the game as a bean slinger. Although that'd be pretty damn cool. Neat, thanks. All right, going to mosey on down this way. See what else is in the rest of this camp. Hello. Hi, I'm Todd. Nice to meet you. I've been researching mushrooms. Okay. Like how they totally get you wrecked. <laughs> I'm kidding. They have interesting properties that could be a boon to medicine and solution to psychological disorders. Ah, it's pretty interesting. The side effect they also get you absolutely smashed. It's just a happy side effect. <laughs> uh, if you have any Lacardius dithrypisus, in fact, I do. Uh, fully opens your third eye. Ah, goes easy on this stuff. It has a real kick. Thanks. Sure. Okay. All right. See any jelly beans? Know anything about a lounge? Uh, what are you doing? Just making some dumb noises to entertain myself. Me too, man. Me too. That's pretty much what I do every day. All right. Do you know where Irene's lounge is? Yeah, I do. Don't don't tell the talking dude if you don't mind. But it's in that cave where we get all mushrooms. Oh, I gotta be. Oh, ah, okay. I gotta. Gonna turn off the music. This record must be from a foreign country where music is way weirder. All right, can I exercise with you? You do not have the proper attire. Before muscle comes skin, before skin comes clothing. You look around and sure enough, everybody else is wearing the same striped pants and weird fuzzy headband. Don't I have a fuzzy headband? Do I? 
Don't I? Yeah, I do. I actually do. As far as striped pants goes, I don't know. I don't know. Well, I need striped pants, which I don't have, so I'll get that later. All right, see you guys. Ooh, loot it. Ooh, nice. Artillery saber, holy shit. Save Kraken. Oh, army issue side. Wow, that's actually damn good. That's damn good. Yeah, but is it any better? Nah, it's not better. It's not better. It's good, but it ain't better. Ooh, military summary. Plot 420. Great. Yeah, hilarious. Cannon loading for idiots. All right, what is that? Read it. This book is so rudimentary that it's insulting to your intelligence, even though you don't know almost nothing about loading cannons. Okay, all right. <laughs> Sounds good. Thank you for that. All right, so I need to go back to that cave and open my third eye. Don't know what that's going to do for him. Scam him out of some meat. Hotter gotta be hotter, hot, hot, gotta cook, cook it right through, needs to be hot, hot, hotter. Okay. All right. Scam him out of some meat. Having trouble with your cook stuff? Not hot enough. I see. I've got this little bag of spices. A couple pinches. Inferno. All right. Okay. Good. I hog swoggled him. Hog swoggled them real good. All right, here we go. Let's open up my third eye. Blammo. I got Bacharach Galactarius. The world turns inside out as your mind replaces it. Okay. The difference doesn't seem all that significant, but that's fine. I go, whoa. I'm just gonna check to see if there's anything else other than that weird mystical open door in the middle of the goddamn place. All right, I'll go in the weird mystical door in the middle of the goddamn... Pretty nice lounge. <laughs> all right, I got a strange lamp. Uh, jelly beans, lime lime jelly beans. Your grand grandkids are gonna love this kind of music. Sure they are. <laughs> well then, I found the lounge and my eye is open as shit, bro. Roy, I got I got your beans, dude. I went on a journey to get these. Well, I'll be that word. I didn't figure on seeing any of them jelly beans again. And here you've brought back all three jars. I ain't got much to reward you with other than a handshake. Mumfler, but maybe I'll be able to pay you back somehow in the future. Don't sweat it, Roy. I was happy to help. I'm a good guy. I'm a real good guy. So anyway, that's all the time I got for this episode. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Let me know in the comments how I'm doing, and you'll see more shooty shooty bang bang in the next episode right soon. So thanks again. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye! <laughs>